So today's video topic is about temperaments and handling. Awesome. So handling tarantulas is really a controversial subject. Like, as a tarantula owner, do you want to hold your tarantula or not? Do you, are you aware of the risks? Uh, that is, uh, their potency of venom or the probability of uh, injuring your tarantula. So, in my opinion, is general, I generally discourage handling. Um, it's not something you should do very often. I know there's a lot of people that like to handle their tarantulas. Good for you, but um, it's best to not to. It's, it's just to stress them out and uh, it's just beneficial for you. They don't, tarantulas don't really benefit from you handling them. Um, it's a type of thing that uh, they don't get used to you. They show you really unconditional love. They don't uh, recognize you like a dog or a cat. So today we're going to show you how I handle a tarantula. I'm going to choose my Avic Avic. That's probably the only one I could actually trust in handling. And we'll go over some temperaments that you've probably seen in a lot of care sheet videos, but don't have an idea what it means. Uh, docile, defensive, semi-defensive, aggressive, and also skittish and nervous. I'm going to put down because it's, it's, it's a term that it's always on care sheets, but um, the first newbie tea owner may not actually know what those mean. Okay, so uh, let's go. Alrighty, Sam, so Professor John is going to actually give you a little crash course on uh, triangular temperaments, and then I'll show you a little handling video. Okay, so what does it mean for a tarantula to be docile? What does it mean for a tarantula to be defensive? Then you probably see this one, semi-defensive slash aggressive, an aggressive tarantula, and something that's really skittish and nervous. Well, you want to think yourself this weird, and uh, you probably know this term, uh, tolerable. That's an interesting word that you can uh, appreciate. So. Okay, I'll use some little language here, forgive me. So a tarantula that, that can tolerate a lot of shit is actually going to be a little relatively docile specimen. So, like I said in uh, my tea beginner video, some like really docile tarantulas would be um, Brachypelma smithy, Mexican red knee, Honduras curly hair, Brachypelma balpulosum, uh, let's see, avic avic, the pink toe, uh, the Eupalestra species, you know, uh, Camperstratus, the Pink Zebra Beauty, and uh, Wagenbergi, uh, the White Collar, just to name a few. So, docile tarantulas have a very high tolerability, so they may not feel the need to bite, but you have to understand all tarantulas can and do bite. They do possess venom. They are not poisonous because people in Africa eat them as a delicacy and they don't get poisoned by eating them. So they are definitely venomous, especially depending on the degree of potency. New worlds are far less venomous than uh, old worlds, but old worlds don't have the urticating hair that they can shed in defense. So that means that it is more likely to bite and uh, use its venom to actually ward off uh, predators. So, docile means a really high, high tolerability, high tolerable, tolerable, there we go. Okay, so a defensive tarantula, well, okay, now you have to think about defensive for a second, and you have to say, um, what does it mean when a tarantula is defensive? Well, a defensive T is not necessarily aggressive, but it'll react very negatively to a disturbance, so... Allow me to give you a little demonstration for a T. Okay, so I do hope you can see. So this is a, an example of a uh, defensive T, which you're seeing right now. You probably know this uh, tarantula, and you can know how uh, pretty defensive this is. Uh, this is my Lassiodora difficilis, the uh, Brazilian fire red bird eater. Uh, this is a little uh, female. So what you do for tarantulas, you get a little soft paintbrush, and you just lightly tap the abdomen. So right now I'm creating a little disturbance for her. And if you notice, she's reacting very negatively to the situation. Uh, you can see her chlorocyri, which are those little two mouth parts. She's actually spreading them out. So she's ready to um, 
go on the defensive and um, honestly I think this one's actually a little bit pretty aggressive you can see the wonderful threat postures uh, that you see before you in the countless speeding videos where I actually start her so if you continue to uh, create a little disturbance Okay, this is what you call a little threat posture. You can see the tarantula is raising its two front legs. You can see the mouth is uh, clostera is spreading open. And uh, this is a tarantula that you really shouldn't handle. A lot of Lassiodora species can and do have personality uh, traits. You know, like Gramasolas are really, really famous for mood swings. Um, Digicrude Lassiodoras are semi-defensive tarantulas. Sometimes they can react uh, very negatively to a situation sometimes it'll just don't bother with it so I kind of say like G. rosea would kind of be a uh, semi-aggressive tarantula like I said it really depends on traits uh, personality traits some can be really docile some can really be really nasty like one of mine okay so that's one uh, of a defensive and slimy defensive teeth Okay, so let's try a little field experience with my Vicularia urticans, the Peru giant pink toe. So, we're just going to touch the abdomen just a little bit with the paintbrush. Use the soft end. And you notice, again, the tarantula turned around and tried to face the paintbrush and just sorely gave a little threat posture. So that means it's a tarantula that you may not want to handle and um, sometimes if you try a bit later, sometimes a tarantula will calm down and uh, it might be okay to handle. So this one I'm not going to touch because uh, she's pretty... I would say this one is slightly defensive. Okay, so this is a Brachypalma smithy, Mexican red knee. This is uh, labeled as a docile tarantula in general. It, they're pretty calm natured. So all I'm doing is just giving a little prod on the abdomen just to see how good she is. Okay, so right now she's really not reacting to the disturbance. So that means she's really tolerable. So this is a little docile specimen. Okay, so semi-defensive like I said, sometimes it'll react positively, sometimes it'll react negatively. So I would try to say semi-defensive teas have moderate to tolerability. So that's one way. So defensive tea has just slightly under. So I would say um, somewhere into the intermediate. So like I've shown you with my L. difficilis and A. urticans, sometimes it may not react well to your... Uh, to the disturbance, so it might try to either flick hairs, do a threat posture or two, or maybe just run in disturbance. So that's what it means by skittish. So when you touch a tarantula and it starts running about in its enclosure, that that means it's a skittish tarantula and slightly nervous. So species like um, Phonopalma simani and maybe the green bottle blue um, are fit in those categories. And an aggressive tea has very low tolerance. So that means it'll readily bite you if you try to handle it. So species would include, you know, the uh, Samopos Armenia, uh, the Cobalt Blue, Hapopama Lividum, and also the various baboon species like the OBT, the HMAC, and uh, sources. So. I'll give you a little handling session before we go. Okay guys, so we're going to attempt to do a little short handling video of um, Evicularia Evicularia Morton uh, Pinto. It's a tarantula that is labeled uh, docile and uh, skittish if uh, disturbed. So again, the way I recommend you handling it is just to coax it out of the enclosure. Because uh, tarantulas are very territorial and sometimes they react very negatively. This is why um, the defensive label has come, came from. So the way is just to coax it out of the enclosure. You don't be too rough with, the, with it. So you're slowly coming out. Place your hand near the T. 
Now I would stress you don't do this too often because tarantulas really don't like to be handled and uh, some can actually try to bite you if you try to do that. Like I'll give an example with, with my gramsole pull strips. Uh, I was handling it one day and all of a sudden it started to freak out and uh, she just nearly tagged me. I got my first, I would have my first bite in 16 years. First ever. So you can see you're just slowly going on. And uh, he's kind of uh, confused whether or not to go on my hand. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so sometimes it, sometimes with our boreal species, um, they don't really like the touch of skin. Whoop. Hey little guy, come on. So it's best to handle a tarantula very low to the ground, not too too high. Okay, and sometimes with with pink toes you have to be really, really careful. Yeah, like that. See you want to handle about this height. Don't do it too too high because they can have rupture they can rupture their abdomen. All its vital organs are inside their uh, their abdomen, you know, the heart, the lungs and stuff, so when the abdomen gets really, really fat, it will uh, literally shatter if uh, you drop it from a certain height. So let's say for a, a stair height, it might actually kill an adult female beast smithy. So you just really want to watch out for that and uh, just be calm. And if uh, you're too nervous when you're handling a tarantula, all of a sudden it's, it's going to freak out. It will sense that... Uh, you're not comfortable and it may react aggressively either by shooting or decaying hairs or uh, it'll try to bite you. So he's pretty calm. Like I said, I don't do this too often. I do it once in a blue moon. And here we go. So mature male, avicularia, avicularia, South American pink toe. Here. Hey Morton. Alright guys, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this informative video. I didn't, uh, haven't seen any uh, uh, videos on tarantula temperaments and handlings. Well, handlings uh, not really in temperaments, but uh, I thought I'd just give you a little insight on that. So I um, hope you enjoyed this informative video. Alright guys, uh, take care and have a nice day.